Swally physics students all around Ireland. Um, I'm sure you've come out of examination today and um, to get the other exam pondering how you might have actually done. But I think if we have a quick look at today's table, one thing I think people would agree with is that uh, section A um, was a nice little section. Um, most students are going to go into the exam expecting to be fine and certainly won't have disappointed. What I liked about this year was we had five questions from the five different parts of the course, whereas in the last three years, we had a situation where there were two experiments taken from one topic, which might have been a little bit disappointing. That was a topic that you weren't maybe very familiar with. But this year, I have to say, actually having that paper was very acceptable, very, very nice. I think most people will be fairly happy with section A. When you move down into the section B part of the exam, one little thing that might have just taken you maybe a little bit by surprise was the fact that question six, which has been all a series of short questions, usually they're quite nice questions. And um, I think it's fair to say they were a, maybe more challenging this year, looking for a little bit maybe of extra information. And that might have had the effect of just disappointing you a little bit. But having said that, the questions were okay. I'm sure if you sat did a question, it would have gone fine for you. It, it might just knock the wind out of your sail just for a little bit. But having said that, okay, we move on. Now, question seven, which is the kind of question, uh, there's been a tendency in the past, I think, for that question to favour students who also do apply maths. However, that was not the case this year. I think it would be described as quite a doable little question. And if you weren't going to apply maths, you are absolutely not at any disadvantage whatsoever. Now, would it have been the case you didn't move into, say, the question eight, which was a nice sort of combination of physical cell, maybe an unusual combination. The one thing about that question is it started off by referencing a moving coil loudspeaker. Now, that might have thrown slightly because, as we all know, the moving coil loudspeaker is not part of the main syllabus. But the question had nothing to do with the moving coil loudspeaker. So if you, if you were just confident enough to discover Wobble, wobble. The question was actually quite nice. In, in the south part, the, the maths question was actually pretty from a few years ago. Um, there were two electricity questions this year, I think it's fair to say, the question nine and then the question 11. Um, no big surprise with that because with the increase in the number of, say, the number of questions on the examination, the, the extra shortage we've had in the last number of years, it's not two of the questions on the electricity. I think question nine was you know, nice. You know, covered, covered kind of say different parts of electricity, whereas in question 11, they seem to focus on the capacitor. Not, nothing unduly unfair about that. And then um, I don't know if you notice or not, but the little mass trick at the end of the capacitor question, believe it or believe it not, was taken from 2004. Let's go back, well, we'll go back 20 years now. So if you had worked fairly thoroughly on the past papers, I think you would have been quite pleased with that one there. The question is skipped in the middle there, question 10. Um, on modern physics was slightly unusual about that was it was uh, based on x-rays and radioactivity an unusual, an unusual combination but uh, the question was I think it's fair to say a fair it was a doable question not nothing slightly not, nothing mean about that question 12 our physical question it certainly will have rewarded um, people who, who like particle physics uh, it was very much a repeat question several ideas from maybe say several of the past papers in about the last 10 years so i don't think we set like that from there and um, in question 12 of course is the part a and the part b now part a is the part of physics the part b is the applied electricity but very few students in ireland will actually do that because that, that's the option question um, but if you had decided that you wanted to do you know the applied electricity i think you would have been quite pleased with your question and um, i said the reference about to uh, Dr. Nicholas Callan from a university, uh, an Irish scientist, um, go back to the 19th century, I just like that. Now, question 13, interestingly enough, that's the, I suppose we call it the comprehension question. You get a paragraph of English and they then come along and they write, say, a series of questions based on it. Those questions can be very much hit and miss. Uh, they are putting. But I think uh, today's question, um, was nice. It, it, again, I would, I would use the word, it was doable, but not, not, nothing in those, in any way, like very, very difficult or, or unfair. Uh, I, also, I have to say, I do like the reference to get to John Pym, another Irish scientist, going back there to um, the uh, 19th century. And question 14, now, question 60, shared around the short questions, you might have been a tad disappointed when you saw an issue. 
So question 14 is also a very, very popular question because it's got four parts, you answer two. And I think it's fair to say, I think most students will have definitely found two of the four parts to suit them. Um, it was kind of quite nice, so nothing nasty, nothing unfair. And I have to say, uh, the first part, the mechanics part, uh, and reference to the Italian uh, Brawl, Ireland's fittest family. Well, it's certainly, I don't know about your good sales, but it brought a bit of a smile to my face. Uh, the touch of comedy, if there was a, such a thing as a touch of comedy in relation to physics. Uh, and also, what was interesting was um, in part C of that question 14, there was a reference to the camera. Through, which many people would, would regard as, say, yesterday's technology, but, but you have to recognise the fact that the Catholic Great Tube uh, is still very much part of the Beacon said syllabus, as was, um, if it's on the syllabus, then I think it's only fair to the exam, but feel free, free to kind of say quiz you on that. Anyway, looking back overall, if you've put in your kind of your, your, your work in two years, I think you'll come out of this examination saying, you know what, um, I've been very rewarded for the effort I'm actually putting in. Um, so I think overall, I as a teacher was, you know, I, I just work with my piece of paper. Um, I certainly I don't think I'm, I will be giving out much about paper and I hope the students that you guys would feel the very, very same as I do. So that's for me to do is to wish you all a very, very happy summer. Well done on all the hard work. And um, if you are finished your exams today, well then go and enjoy your summer and you have a few more papers to do. I wish you the very best of luck with those papers and then go and enjoy your summer. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, bye.